Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Let's, uh, let's continue our trek into the forest, yes? You'll remember from the previous episode that, uh, we got in a fight with our wife, which was terrible, uh, dove into the water to save her, and then we ended up in our car on a cliff with a gas station in the distance that we're going to reach. So, let's do that, yes? Hmm... I'm sure all woods are creepy in the evening, right? Hello? Ooh, hello. That wasn't answering him, I was just agreeing. Hello? Is someone there? Litterbug? What have we got? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. Oh dear. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Oh! Departure by Alan Wake. Okay, folks. So yeah, um, Alan... Oh dear, D don't don't look at these. Don't look at these. Uh, these are all here because I've played the game already. That's unfortunate, he actually. turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. Ugh. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. A wake? Alan wake? Huh? Eh? Eh? No? No? Okay. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Yeah, so as you can see, folks, it's just kind of, uh... Oop, there we go. It's just kind of, uh, narrating it. But you're collecting it kind of before it happens at times. Um, it's basically like, it's something that Alan has written but does not remember writing. And it's him uh, in the story. So, you know, it's interesting, right? It'll make more sense later on. Anyway. Anybody there? Oh my. Please, I've been in an accident. Did you see that, folks? Let's keep going. I saw a figure. I do not approve of figures. Ooh. Gas station? No, oh, it's over there. See, it's always in the distance, folks. That's very it's very comforting. Whenever something interesting is uh to be highlighted, there's always always light in the distance. The lights up oh. ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. Maybe. Maybe, Alan. We'll find out together. As a group, folks. Oh dear. That's not normal, is it? Anything else over here we can look at? Get your running legs on, Alan. No. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So then, we will... Use this makeshift bridge to, uh... Just get on the other side here. Whoop. Stay on it, Alan. There you go. And down. There you go. Good job, buddy. A lumber yard. Anybody there? Please. I've been in an accident. Anybody? I'm very important. Hey. Hey, you. Phil. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen. Deposit. I need to. Premium cabins for rent in. Oh, hell. Carl. Ducky. Pleased to meet you. non refundable reservation. Deposit required. Fair and square. So that's the man that was supposed to give us a key earlier on. I don't know where he is now. It's that creepy, folks. He's still kind of... 
He's just, he's just randomly, oh, oh, oh dear, oh! Uh, he's just kind of randomly spouting things that were in, in his mind, from his, from his life. That's odd. It's very odd, folks. Excuse me, log, I'm trying to get around. You're delaying my progress. Okay. Well, that was quite a jump, wasn't it? Frankly, I'm impressed. Ooh. Anything hidden in it? No? Alright. Alright. Whoa! Oh! Okay, okay. Go again. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. There you go. See, folks, Energizer. Actual Energizer. That's kind of cool, right? Product, product placement? Yeah. Okay. Batteries. Yes, please. Okay. Only weapon we have is the revolver. It's the latest thing. Excuse me. Incontestably proven health benefits let you kill. Okay, okay, sir. Nordic walking. Yes. You can. Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Oh, oh balls. Hello? Whoa! Well, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Torn. Can I... This bad. What? Whoa! Easy, big fella. Easy! Please stop. Please stop. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, 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 oh. oh, folks, did you see that? I made it. I think I might have landed on the electricity, though. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Reach the gas station. I'm trying. That's convenient. Thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ha ha! You're welcome. Oh, hello. My head pounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range. And now I just killed someone. Oop. Or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real not to make me sick. Yeah, no kidding. They're relentless, folks. Ow! God! What is... Oh. Yep. Electricity. <laughs> Let's not do that! Sorry? But what's that over there? What is it? There's a chainsaw. That's a disheartening, isn't it? Okay, so. That's the way. But before we do that, we're going to follow this arrow over here. Which is going to take us... All the way... Oh, see, folks? There's a path. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Convenient. Flare gun! Yes, please. I will gladly take that. Let's not waste it right away, but still. Now. As we were. Let's pop back over here and turn off the electricity so we can make our way over the fence and not, you know, get cooked. There we go. See? The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Yeah, I know, buddy. I understand. We'll go. You just know that I'm not... It's rabbit season. It's rabbit season? Is that what you just said? Ha! Ah. There we go. Supplies. There we go. Okay, so that's the way to go. Let's check up here for funsies. Old tractor. Manuscript page. And... I suppose that's it, isn't it? That's fine. No, that's a dead end. We'll go down here. We'll go the way it instructs. Let's not touch the live wire, though. Okay, bit of a drop. Didn't mean to go down there quite so suddenly. Alice?
That's a that's a terrible what noise. What was that? I don't know, Alan, but I didn't like it either. Has anyone have you guys ever explored a forest in the in the middle of the night? It sounds like a terrible idea. I can't imagine it was pleasant. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. Ah, <sighs> you and me both, buddy. Let's just make our way, take our time. There is no need to rush, okay? Anything over here? I don't actually know the right way to go. Let's try this way. Unless our path ends up being blocked, which does happen. Okay, so that seems like that's the way to go. So maybe let's explore back here a little bit. Just to see if there's anything interesting that we might have missed, yes? Because again, that's kind of neat how there's a light over there, which kind of is uh, showing you the way to go. So then you know that you can kind of go off and explore to see if there's anything else that might be of interest, right? It's handy, folks. It's handy. Although, then you run into situations where there really is nothing exciting. So then you just make your way back. That's kind of what I like in games like uh, Dead Space. You know how you can just, I think, click one of the one of the sticks and it'll show you the way to go, and then you can kind of, you're kind of free to explore the rest. I don't know. I like checking all the nooks and crannies, I suppose. Oh. Ooh. Stucky was still out there. In the dark, stalking me. I don't know why I'm still collecting those. I already have, but I don't know. Something fun about it, I suppose. Okay, so we saw a figure over here. So, of course, we're going to run toward it. Hmm. Yes, I'm going to try not to talk over Alan Wake because uh, he's always saying something interesting, right? Don't want to interrupt the poor man. Destination. Ooh. Yes. Ooh, lithium batteries. I will gladly take those. We're full on ammo. I think that's the way we want to go, so let's just pop over here very quickly. Nah, alright. Back we go. It's all completely safe, folks. This way? Oh, hello. Oh, we're throwing things now. And you. Don't you try to sneak attack me, bucko. There you go. You can't sneak up on me. That's not cool. Okay, so we want to go that way. What is over here? Rocks? And water. Okay, let's not go into the water. That will surely make us perish. So we'll hop up on here, hop up on there. Proceed at your own risk. Very well. Ooh. Ah, okay, there's more. There's more chests over here that we can explore. Get some supplies. Anything over here? Out of the Curiosa A? No. <laughs> Thought I heard footsteps. They were my own. Uh, same thing happened in Slender the Arrival. Okay. This is not safe. So which way are we headed here, then? Obviously, we'll go to the building, then. Yes? That's fine. Yeah, we're still being led in there. What's that say? The Taken are filled... They're taken. They're Taken. That's the enemy name called. Uh, the That didn't even make sense. That's what the enemies are called uh, in this game, folks, are the Taken. All right. And we have a supply chest. Yes, we do. Lithium batteries, gladly. And that is it. That's plenty, so don't even worry. Let's pop back out here. Did we take fall damage? I'm not even sure. Let's test this theory. We certainly do, folks. We certainly do take fall damage. And we can actually heal... Whenever our health is down, we can heal by going into the light. Like if there's a, if there, I'll show you. Da -da. Yeah. 
Okay, so we went that way. It's all too quiet, folks. I don't trust it. I don't trust the it at all. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Challenge accepted, sir. Ooh, supplies. Revolver ammo? I already have that. I think I'm full on everything, actually. Fine. Do you hear breathing? I swear I heard breathing, but... I'm sure that's perfectly normal. So where are we going? Oh, I see a thing. Let's go touch the thing. The music is picking up. Oh, goodness me. This is a job for... Rocket... I didn't even get that one! See, I guess that's cool, because even if you miss, the actual flare uh, will still take out the, uh, the darkness shield. Which is kind of cool. Please. Please let there be lights. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect, that's great. So see, then if you walk over here, well, we're already actually healed now, but if you walk in here, um, you would be healed while you are in the light. Kind of a nice touch. Manuscript page. Anything else in here? That's a... Oh! Oh, that is definitely interesting. We got ourselves a double barrel. That's delightful. Let's go use it on something, yes? Actually, we only have two shells. Maybe we'll... Maybe we'll save it. Though I'm sure we'll be faced with a situation soon enough where we'll have to use it, but hey-ho. Anything over here? Anything interesting? No, actually. Okay. Fair enough. Now, there was a... There was a panel that was highlighted when the, when the power came back on, so let's go find that. Yes, there it is. See? I wouldn't lie to you, folks. Use! Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, so we have to get up, and then we're going to make ourselves a cheeky little bridge here. That should do it. Where is that? Anyway. Oh, it's right there. Okay. So, make our way up these uh, up this ladder. And we'll cross over with our newly made bridge. We just MacGyvered this situation, folks. I've never watched that. Well, that's embarrassing. Let's never do that again. Now we know there's a bit of a leap there, folks. And a reminder that we do still take fall damage. That's... That's that's great. That's good. And jump! There you go, Mr. Wake. And another... Too soon! Well. Just testing that, folks. Congratulations. You all pass. Let's do that again. I just like jumping over gaps, so, you know, if you want that, you came to the right place. Jumping! And another. Wah -ha! See? Third time's a charm. Meant meant to do that. All, all of the excuses. Okay. Up here. And here. Heal our fall damage, which has already healed itself. That's fine. Shotgun ammo? Yes. Yes, yes. And... Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. What a night. I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. As you listeners know, I'm a, I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. Here I am. And it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walkies. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? <laughs> walkies. Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find him. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. 
Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> Toby loves people. Usually he comes back, but we, we were pretty far from home, and it sounds like he went pretty wild there. Great dog, but he's just too dumb for his own good. Hey. <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. All right. So, folks, keep an eye out for Toby. Oh, oh, look at that. More supplies. I don't think they are. I don't think they stay quite as constant. I could be wrong. Flare gun. Wasted the last one, didn't I? There we go. Oh, let's. We got six shells for this now, folks. That sounds fun. 40 handgun bullets. Terrible music that's playing there, isn't it? Okay. Manuscript page. What is over the hill? Oh, there's the gas station, folks. Doesn't really feel like we're getting closer, but obviously we are. The gas station was closer now. Oh. It's light welcoming in the darkness. We're talking about hot dogs. Okay. I'm on board. Oh, no. Oh, it's getting windy. That's never good. This is never a good sign. Uh, let's try going down. It's all going in the same direction. Here's an axe that we can't use, which would be great. Oh. Oh, no. Ow. Now, if I was fast enough, I actually could have got this uh, generator started. Let's do that now before anything else happens. That's terrible. There we go. If you're quick enough, uh, you can actually pick... Excuse me, you can actually start a generator as they are pursuing you. And, um, and it will destroy them immediately, which is fantastic. Anyways, folks, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stay here in the safe haven for a few moments. And uh, in the next episode... We'll keep going. Ever closer to the gas station. It's coming, folks. I swear. Uh, anyways, thank you very much for joining me once again, and I will see you guys on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake. I hope you're enjoying it. I am adoring it. So long.